Guruji, no questions, um, okay. but because it's it's the 12th uh, lesson today, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you yes. for bringing us onto this pathway on both behalf, behalf of Vaidyat and myself. Um, yes. Thank you for bringing us onto this pathway. It's definitely, I wouldn't say um, I've progressed to verify, I think I have a long way to go, but definitely it's... Uh, 
it sort of brought me at the right door and um it's it's a uh, it's encouraging me to walk into it yeah certainly certainly but because uh, the uh, let us not put any adjective it's, it has a long way or anything like that but it, uh, it does have uh, significance in everyone's life turning within is important turning within staying within is very very important it is not like any other spiritual practice it is suggested here it is very 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 minute deep advanced why i say this is because it immediately puts you exactly on the gps map of mind see mind is a fiction if we if we don't turn within and look within it is available all the time it makes us to run helter skelter the mind the moment you turn within you don't see a mind at all even thinking comes to a stop mm. you don't find yourself there at all in the mind because no one is there at the outset no one seems to be available but we love to wait a lot very patiently all beginners would uh, uh, be very curious or uh, they will become enthusiastic in doing it because in the very first session itself they will find nothing so they will be able to stay still within and silent also within but by and by by and by the mind becomes uh, tough thoughts are produced when crises happen that time one one doesn't know what to do how to go about because one is not given enough space or time within not to ventilate his feelings not to ventilate his ideas opinions conclusion judgments because space is not available at all one rushes in forming conclusion judgments and he comes he bursts immediately thereby he shows more more karma more karma here though this 12 sessions made you made you to look within and for a significant amount of time stay within and bring it into your day to day 24 into 7 of day to day life so that is very essential at the outset it has beautiful uh, it that we will be seeing if uh, everything goes well after after next week see after uh, one week we will we'll give a gap and see that is next friday we won't be having saukya Hmm. and okay, uh, i will i will plan accordingly and then i will intimate uh, okay sure and from, uh, and from then on we will continue with next new sessions also everything will be different absolutely different hmm. though so it may also contain 12 sessions but it will be absolutely different altogether because each is uh, the gpr station one is made to look at one station is properly liquid in it and that uh, that place that domain is completely empty by the energy yes. that is the beauty of it. in today's okay. session yeah in today's session what we are going to see is see there are lots and lots of practices that are suggested here uh, spiritual practices external external in the sense for for those who who do <coughs> saukya that is turn within stay just be stay in just be the mind becomes silent and it reaches the level of stillness too this is our regular uh, approach but lots of practices are there spiritually they, they are called spiritual practices like pranayama japa yoga then scriptural studies to and based on those scriptural studies uh, people do 
dhyana meditation practice different types of dhyana there are lots and lots of meditational practice that here marketed marketed lot of techniques are marketed but uh, what happens is they resemble just like just be but they are altogether different because they are given to you like a tablet or a capsule for you to for you become the doer of it the practitioner of it inwardly you take it as a step a method which you adopt to reach some way psychologically so that kind of practice are there what do they, though though they resemble like just be they are not staying in just be they are not looking within they are not seerless seeing observation within this is what we are going to see in today's session hmm? what they do what the what the harm it does what it does straight away it is given here we will go to the video part of it today is friday 22nd july self inquiry technique 12 self inquiry technique of inner gates this one we saw in our 10th session then this one was the 11th session when it is seen that who the thinker behind all thoughts is were you able to see who the thinker behind all thoughts is you, you did you most of the time yes guruji yeah who was that person who was that entity can't tell you guruji but the moment uh, the, the moment uh, this this literally no one there but the moment uh, that uh, gaze is kept on it, it is just nothing just emptiness nothing. just emptiness yeah but where does that emptiness prevail it prevails as you yeah it exists as you at that moment and at that place mm. wherever the gaze was deployed and whatever that moment of deployment time and space both was nothing else other than your own essential self it is a very very because we are not trying to comprehend it but you have to simply do it you will have to simply do it become empty yeah which is becoming empty all thinkers are becoming empty of thinking and thoughts that's the thing happening yes. yes that's the thing happening so we are not actually making them go one by one we are as a lot we just look at within and immediately there was no thinker at all no one to be seen around and all thoughts mm-hmm. stop only silence prevails so the prevalence of silence is the key key and that has to be culture constant dwelling up of silence within this was our 11th technique hmm? silence dawns and one realizes that foundation of all thinkers exists in the intellect as past registrations thinkers because every every dot of black space or empty space or dark space within you contains past registrations see in our deep sleep there was no purnima there was no vaidehi but what happens in waking state you continue surging out with all your previous days psycho- psychological entities all, all, all the persons all the personalities wherever at whatever uh, level of feeling or experiencing one must left with he continues exactly the next morning at that point so which gives the continuity so so there there, there is registration that has been taking place all the time mm. that's why all thinkers are welling up out of past registrations 
So the, those past registrations are also destroyed by gazing at the thinkers. Thereby cleansing of intellect takes place. See, it is cleansed of all defilements, all impurities. There is impurity all the time. If you don't look at, you assume yourself to be Purnima and thinker immediately start thinking within you, creating so many institutions in you. That's why constant gaze is necessary. This balancing act has to be practiced. 24 into 7. So, what happens when the purified intellect itself shines as the eye of the self and one's day-to-day -day life also prospers? Purified intellect. See, uh, unless you are clear about what Purnima wants in whatever her endeavor in day-to-day -day life, whatever she wants to do, however she wants to carry on with a particular task, a minimum beautiful planning wells up within you, in the intellect. For that the intellect should be always pure, blemishless. It should be a clean mirror, clean slate. Thereby, actually, everything is taking place within you only. It is never taking place at the outside. Outside is also within us. Outside geographical place, physical time, everything we are actually creating. It is so, such, such a tricky magic is going on. For that only we are piercing it. We are piercing and piercing through our mind and get beyond our mind to see the real self. And real self also descends only in the intellect. So intellect has to be kept cleansed all the time. Intellect has to be kept cleansed. For that, you should never stop seeing it within you. Okay. This is the thing. Now we will go to the present one. This week's. This is the technique 12. 22nd July. Uh, can you read it? Scriptural studies, Japa, Yoga, Pranayama, Kundalini, Arisal, meditation, etc. All these are the practices done with subtle mental and cross physical bodies. By doing these practices, they would hypnotize the subtle mental and gross physical bodies only. They won't help one directly in this day-to-day -day life or in one's self-realization. Only a CLS seeing within oneself makes one shine in material excellence of day-to-day -day living as well as in attaining enlightenment. Yes. Yeah. Here, what do we see? One second. Scriptural studies, Japa, uh, Yoga, Pranayama, Kundalini Arisal, Meditation, etc. All these are the practices done with subtle mental and gross physical bodies. We don't have anything else at all. These are the things. But unless we categorize it, which is doing what? Because physical body is only the monitor screen. The software has to project whatever the uh, image it is carrying on within it into the monitor, isn't it? So now we are all actually built up on the monitor screen of the mobile or the laptop. How are we made up in digital points, pixels? So those pixel points are all software creation, software creation. Similarly, here, subtle mental and gross physical bodies. There are techniques given all over the world. Scriptural studies. What do they do? They, they dig out one or the other point. Thereby focusing that point to make a practice out of it. Take a point, embed it in the mind, in the intellect, carry out according to its instruction. Carry out the life according to its instruction. 
is it possible that's what we are asking see adopt adaptation means what matching you should match something see for objective things you can take a particular color of saree or that you can choose a particular color of blouse exactly it can it, it would match but who is the thinker who is the practitioner is he a, is he an objective thing no he is a fleeting energy fleeting illusory energy he cannot be held at all in hand or even in the mental life so such is the thing so how the scriptural uh, studies taking one point and practicing it matching it with some practice how can it take place next comes japa then yoga japa is also mental recitation you know mantras are given even shlokas are chanted constantly uh, some mrutyanjay mantra is there to save god ourselves from death hmm? Hmm? to 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 not to get afraid of death that mrutyanjay mantra is given so kind of japa with lot of mantras and yoga yoga is physical as well as psychological it it does something to the psychology too then comes pranayama exactly it falls in between manomaya kosha and uh, uh, sthula annamaya kosha that is physical body and the mental body in between the prana is regulated regulated in such a way what happens is the mind is hypnotized it goes unconscious it is like a arithmetic singing with certain beats the magician definitely knows that with certain beats all the audience will go to sleep you you sing lullaby no for the child yes it immediately yes. sleeps it immediately sleeps this is what is called as hypnotics so then pranayama kundalini arise these are also lot of techniques lot of devatas are projected in all six or six aadhara chakras hmm? in those chakras they are all placed and worshiped and they are slowly and slowly elevated to the higher uh, chakras like that then comes meditation different different kinds of meditation all these are the practices done with subtle mental and gross physical bodies by doing these practices they would hypnotize the subtle mental and gross physical bodies only they won't help one directly in his day to day life or in one self realization what is this hypnotism does to one you go unconscious when japa is done the the mind goes to inertia it sleeps if you if you if you if you really study you need an analytical study is it not you need an analytical study you will have to deploy constantly the intellect on the subject word by word get behind the meaning of the word and visualize it within your mind this will enrich the consciousness it won't make the consciousness to go sleepy docile it will become all the more alert and especially uh, in india we, uh, the, the students are advised to study early in the morning because it is fresh it is very incisive the intellect is very incisive very analytical it sees beyond the words the meanings are opening up visually so that is what opposite of hypnotism what hypnotism does it it makes one sleepy with a certain rhythm these practices no all these practices they make the subtle body as well as the gross physical body to get hypnotized and they don't help in one self realization as well as in one's uh, day to day life how how i am saying with regard to day to day life is because they he, he will forget it 
over a period of time that will never come up in his memory after say 6 months even or even 3 months after one one won't be able to remember that point at all you would have practiced it for certain amount of time so all these things are like that whereas here nothing is left out in just be when you stay in just be alert alertfully here staying is the most important thing the primary thing and the most important staying active alive without an observer it it brings down the the vast potential into a tiniest point of yourself to bring it into words i am referring it to yourself that is the truth is that that alone prevails in at that moment so that gazes the subject and that does that study even if it is deployed in study this gaze this just be practice it helps a lot in our day to day that is uh, college studies or whatever the study we have to take or whatever kind of excellence we want to attain uh, whether it is about art or anything anything of any science art science studies of any sort or anything and everything because nothing exists outside of mind and the mind doesn't exist at all without consciousness consciousness in moment is called a mind without moment of mind is called consciousness if it moves it is mind if it moves it's mind if it doesn't move it is consciousness if it stays still it is consciousness it is not in the hypnotic state so guruji when you're saying staying still so when there is emptiness is that consciousness uh, as well no it is not consciousness it is actually okay. uh, yeah because you 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 don't you don't see any visuals or any word at all you call it as emptiness it is not emptiness it is because again you are seeing the emptiness no yes you are feeling you are feeling the emptiness no and who is the feeler yes. of the emptiness so feeler of the emptiness is consciousness right see within you if you are going empty upon gazing within who is that observer who sees nothingness emptiness if someone is there you are not able to name it that's why you called it as emptiness but truth is you are still there even emptiness is felt by something else something some other thing so that some other thing is always the self it can never be reduced to nothingness at all right right even self is a word we are giving whereas the truth is self only okay and uh, an alive principle alone can give a still photography as well as a video also it will show the video also right an mm. alive principle an alive principle mm. see current is the basis of if even if you show slides on the screen or even empty screen that is white screen alone or videos that are all moving okay all all visuals are shown even white screen is also shown but screen never mm. moves screen is the platform yes, yes. isn't it in the same way yes. the seer of the emptiness is the platform he is not he, he can never be hypnotized right that is the beauty part of it beauty that can never be tasted by any of these methods that is what i give the stress about the all these practices nothing takes you yes. there nothing takes you yes. there it won't help you in any way mm. it is like a, if you if you if you uh, if you take coffee and you throw away the cup it is a plastic cup you just eat and throw throw away cups it it goes out of the cosmos itself you never remember it 
here there is no question of a person who remembers it you need not practice it mm -hmm. it is not a practice we are going behind all practices in just be alone in saukya in just be alone where we take you we take you to that point where the original thing is absolutely available what is nature is you start reflecting from that moment on that original state nothing but the supreme lordship supreme lordship of existence that is eesness limitless eesness limitless intelligence limitless consciousness these are all very very active principles they never arise or they never set they are all foundational principles such chit ananda they call so that is the matrix of our self we are made up of that that matrix alone makes it available during our deep sleep state as our deep sleep state so here that that that's raw prevalence during our deep sleep makes it the the blissful one making our deep sleep state blissful one it is beyond birth and beyond death simply beyond birth that's why there is naturally we were never born so we cannot die at all here what did we say when you look at the emptiness who was looking at he also must be empty of a separate purnima name and form right yes he must be or she must be without a form without it Mm. what else was it during our deep sleep state the same thing no yes we you should get connected every moment of your life with this that's why all these techniques are we are giving so here comes the next line only a seerness seeing within one self makes one shine in material excellence of day to day living as well as in attaining enlightenment only a seerless seeing within observeless observeless observation within he makes one shine that makes one shine in material excellence where is the question of material excellence come here see during your act activity oriented living even while you walk even before you talk plan to talk or plan to do some transaction by talking by planning thinking and executing through your talk you can you can be very actively be silent and watch your the person who is going to initiate this karma activity peacefully you should always align with this silent still formless nameless entity observer what it does it here by it i am referring to the supreme consciousness immediately you are connected immediately you are connected to the satellite if you are calling from australia to america so all calls should come via satellite only it goes up going up and exactly hitting at somewhere in america is faster than going through the surface the signal is going through the traveling through the surface because it is a voluminous distance a very long distance whereas if the satellite picks it up and it's it at the exact location it goes instantly maybe a time delay of some seconds some one second or two seconds they call it time delay so it will be happening like that here when during our day to day living by constantly being an empty observer or fearless observer observerless observer and always looking within that activity should go on forever if that's happening 
each and every tiny detail of your uh, day to day life will shine like him to the last dot you will do it perfectly with patience with this are all your not your nature these are all not you are cultivating the virtues in you patience endurance tolerance forbearance you get this you are not trying to cultivate virtues only one virtue of observerless observation is carried on all the time observation should be there by the observer less observer Okay. Guruji, can I ask something here? Yes, certainly. Um, what I want to know is, um, just like you know, thinking about like you know my working mm-hmm. state. So, um, the the nature of my work is to uh, mm-hmm. investigate. So I have to like you know, say mm-hmm. for example, like I I have this laptop here. I've got a case in front of me. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for all the details, whether that mm-hmm. claim is true or like you know false. what are the um, you know events that have transpired leading up to this particular claim so what i am doing is i am looking up for the details to see like what are the details that are actually supporting the claim or not supporting the claim whether it is uh, right or wrong or true or false like i'm looking at that i'm and i'm actually frame, framing up my recommendation and my report okay. when i'm actually doing this am i am i am i looking at a uh, i don't know whether i'm looking within um, myself or no like you know when i'm doing that i'm only doing that uh, i don't know whether i am with myself like you know i'm um, um you, you know you yeah you would not have done like uh, uh, this which i have told just now mm, mm, mm. you would have been uh, reacting conditionally in a conditional way of checking up investigating you would have been mm-hmm. given certain steps some 10 items or 15 items need to be checked for mm-hmm. each and every case this is the first one second one third one so this is a mechanical mm-hmm. way of looking at mm-hmm. here here even while uh, you, you are taking up a particular uh, job or a task uh, mm-hmm. in your office or even at home everything is actually investigation even that steps are looked into Mm-hmm. then uh, first step is given <clears throat> what is this uh, what, what what was the original damage of the uh, property or something like that mm-hmm. vehicle or something like that so yeah. what is that original damage so uh, so this is the um, uh, this is the core point the central activity mm-hmm. for that the, the whole business entire is running this you will you should understand so mm-hmm. then you are peeping into the the i and uh, the spirit of the md of that company okay mm-hmm. who has set this mm-hmm. agenda for his business okay mm-hmm. the very first mm-hmm. point should reveal what is what what is the course of that business what they do mm-hmm. so they mm-hmm. are they are meeting the losses incurred uh, upon uh, insurance claims or something like that okay yeah. damage yeah. so so for that the uh, subsequent points were all elaborated uh, in steps so they should follow so when you when you have the gaze like this you should ponder it for a, a moment of a time on each and every step mm-hmm. you were given mm-hmm. whether in job or in the house what it does what it does to the product even mm-hmm. while making a sambar okay you are you are uh, you are uh, Like uh, d- dissolving the turmeric powder in it, you are making it yellow. Is the turmeric giving only yellow? No, it has some healing properties. So, what is the properties mm. of each and each ingredient that is made into a samba? Mm. Mm. So, like that, it is not simply knowledge. It uh, brings the original flavor of that item with uh, healing properties and health properties and everything. the same way the whole life when uh, what is our subtle body why it wants always a ready made max and trip, uh, tricks step 1 step 2 of kind of living we should never uh, 
get a, lose ourselves into this kind of activities we should mm-hmm. originally take up it doesn't mean again you need not go through uh, companies all the things again and again what i'm saying is your part your part then a lot of creativity will start happening in you mm-hmm. so you will find uh, uh, how many novel ways of cheating the company making uh, mm-hmm. fake claims all these things will come out as well as how a, a real uh, loser of a claim has been mm-hmm. uh, missed by not uh, accepting his claim all these things mm-hmm. all also will come out okay so each mm-hmm. case will become a very significant one when you are in the cases like this yes good immediately <laughs> immediately if you do like this for a week stay the next month itself your promotion will be there or your cards <laughs> you get it you get it yes guru ji yes yes certainly certainly Definitely. certainly because everything is related to the quality of consciousness mm-hmm. the way to carry your consciousness it's not your consciousness that that the observerless observation within you constantly without any depletion mm-hmm. without any getting distracted or diluted yes that's the, that's the beauty of living also in just be okay mm-hmm. you got the point hmm? yes yes guru ji thank you yeah uh, now shall we shall we go into uh, you you can go into uh, just be inner gaze without an observerless observation where you are not practicing anything you are simply in an alive mode deploying we will finish reading this and then we will go on so only a seeing seeing within oneself makes one shine in material excellences of day to day living as well as in attaining enlightenment see enlightenment is actually you cannot miss your day to day living at all that itself is a platform when suddenly something dawns in you about a claim this is not a bogus claim this is the this is the most eligible claim of a particular damage the person was not able to present it in a proper manner that's why it is misread or missed out in accepting his claim it should never be rejected if you find this point you actually scored a very good customer to your side no mm that's correct guru ji yeah oh, the same uh, it's like that same is the case with enlightenment if you match like the all your conscious activities of day to life and suddenly you will say say then who is this why they mm inner gaze only was directing me aiding me elevating me navigating through all the fineness of uh, living then suddenly even enlightens you you get enlightened mm. Mm. you know what is enlightenment suddenly enlightenment also dawns to you okay yes yes yeah. guruji now what you are going to do is simply be a seerless seer within and make it alive emptiness alive watcher of emptiness or darkness whatever it be there is a watcher there is an alive being he is actually not your name and form he is there mm-hmm. just make him present all the time throughout this session okay mm-hmm. when i ask you to open your eyes then okay. you can yeah start the yes yeah. guru ji very very slowly and gently with your palms of the hand warm up your face with your palms close your eyes place your palms on your eyes open the eyes within and then open it to the external light here we are completely taking a deviation from the so called practices that were all given here that is the main point we are keeping an alive observerless observer 
alive entity and he observes what is job is he observes nothing else he sees that there is nothing but he, he doesn't form a conclusion to come to it mm. this is the most alive point of a waking state life as well as uh, this transcendent life also he here in our uh, three states of existences that is uh, especially the deep sleep state this alive person completely merges unconsciously in the deep sleep state Mm. he is one with the physical body mm. lethargy body the body of inertia we are no more than vegetables no during our deep sleep alive vegetables because it got diffused the consciousness has become only a vegetable blood circulation palpitation of the heart Uh, the lungs uh, breathing everything everything functions well but the person is not aware person is nothing but is alive consciousness the moment you wake up from that moment onwards till the moment you go to sleep there also you can watch and that sleep will be fantastic sleep because will be landing up in alive consciousness mm-hmm. uh, it is really a transcendent state not a regular state mm-hmm. the rest will, rest will be very phenomenal both for the physical body as well as for the intellect and mind mm-hmm. and if you are able to deploy this 24 into 7 what not you are the master of it you attend you will attend enlightenment enlightenment talks okay okay guruji yeah um, guruji i have one question do you have the yeah. time for it yeah yeah yes i can guruji um w- when you say um deploying 24 by 7 so mm. when when you're um when you're deploying the thoughts um say day to day activities i can give you a situation to make my point clear um say i'm getting vivan to do his homework um he is doing some math sums i've given him a worksheet and he's doing that now i'm able to observe him do what he needs to do but then i'm not i'm so conditioned to make this uh comments in my head to check whether he's doing the right the right way to check whether he's say for example he's adding 5 plus 8 um um and uh, and i'm checking whether he's adding that 5 plus 8 correctly is he using the right technique to do that or to get to that answer um is he doing it now now having these comments in my head um and i'm trying i'm also trying to deploy it uh, deploy the thoughts that's coming now what is what's the best way to to be a seerless um yeah you, you observer are, yeah you are not doing the seerless observation of thought observerless observation of thought no no comments so how that would that i do it in that situation yeah comments are nothing but thoughts yes mm-hmm. Mm. already thought about thoughts conditioned the thoughts mm. so when he starts doing some homework immediately you come with the condition the reaction of those thoughts mm. conditioned mm. purnima comes mm. there purnima mm. at that moment is not alive consciousness at all yes yes this is only a hypothetical example situation mm okay wow, wow we advocate for all the time don't you want to say see here mm-hmm. also i uh, let me explain you see you should not, you should not go by uh, whatever the book textbook has given as techniques methods because mm-hmm. definitely you know the answers of it you also <clears throat> know the methods that take you to those answers 5 yes. plus 8 what are the ways of uh, uh, taking it to the right answer 30 that you know mm. so you should 
you should look for purnima who talks immediately with the patent and answers as common right right you should struggle half from you. in fact you should not uh, when you are prompted by a ready made thought a ready made conclusion ready made comment you should not execute it okay you should immediately set aside all those things and become an observer as observer observer mm that will bring a different pace all together in you mm-hmm. now whatever you speak is something you would not have thought about earlier at all mm-hmm. in life everything becomes new words become yeah. new they are not simply methods you are teaching someone see how am i taking the uh, satsangs how uh, i am giving the techniques each technique is very minutely different from the other techniques that's right that's right if one takes it very sincerely it opens up everything inner eyes open our interest is uh, interest is to open your inner eye mm. not your physical eyes not your mental eye or uh, intellectual eye or whatever that i they are not eyes at all they are all conditioned mm. thoughts Mm. they are mm. directing you to only th- those preferred answers it is a mindset mm. you should say mindset mm. ready made yes. techniques for 5 plus 8 is also a mindset yes given by all the uh, teachers of maths okay yeah. we are not interested mm. in that so you should uh, completely set aside set aside all those teachings all those uh, yep. comments all those yep. thoughts simply look yes. at uh, uh, the surge of repetition that comes in you and empty it it yes. will get emptied immediately you will also become yes. an observer less observer then something right. else dawns, something else dawns in you you won't be the regular purnima at that moment mm mm-hmm. a paradigm shift will definitely happen mm mm uh, this are all enjoyable uh, way of uh, practicing this thing most enjoyable uh, even at thought level guru ji like you know after attending these classes mm-hmm. be it like walk or like you know cooking or like doing work or like you know mm-hmm. even like you know whatever like you know when we are driving or like you know Uh, watching tv or anything like that mm. earlier it was like you know we just watching for the sake of watching mind was thinking like you know mm. it was like that and like but now there is constantly like you know something that says like you know uh, are you here like are you aware like you know it makes us it makes like you know me think like you know not not somewhere lost makes me mm. think am i am i here like you know every job is like now getting like you know refined because early, like earlier before starting like um, these classes like you know big thanks to vadina who enrolled us into this um, saukya classes and yeah. after every week that you are actually doing our action literally we might be coming after like you know bath or lighting the deepam or anything it something come like you know it's it, it might still be a thought it might still be a thought but it still comes and it tells like are you aware like you know you are that yeah. you are lighting the deep you are like you know doing the uh, cutting you are like you know consciously talking to someone because earlier if we were talking to someone yes yes like that was different and now yeah. like you know listening to them is different listening i can yeah. definitely uh, feel that uh, guru yeah. again yeah. i know it's a feel it's a thought and everything maybe like how you said like you know some day we will uh, yes, yes. become silent yeah yeah no this uh, thoughts are thoughts are becoming prompters for you to stay still and silent and merge with the supreme consciousness thoughts are becoming mm-hmm. prompt prompting points mm-hmm. even regular thoughts 
it, it just is just never rushes out mm. from you you immediately use it as a prompt a marker mm. to look at yeah stay in the alive consciousness and then let the alive consciousness unfold in whatever way it wants this is the flowering of the supreme consciousness the only self of all okay <laughs> yes coach so nice so with that uh, we will leave a gap of one week then we will see next friday to next friday i'll just keep you informed through uh, um prema ma huh? okay sure guru ji sure guru ji sure thank you thank, thank you, you so for much. your time kindly thank yeah, you yeah. Yes, it's...